in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew in a flash, tore open the shutter, threw up the sash. The moon, on the breast of the new-fallen snow, gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher! Now Dasher! Now Prancer and Vixen! On Comet! On Cupid! On Donner and Blitzen! To the top of the porch! To the top of the wall! Now dash away! Dash away! Dash away all! As dry leaves that for a wild hurricane fly, as they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, then up to the housetop the horses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and crying of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came, with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with, with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had slung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed. like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. With a wink of his eye and a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose.